Hi, this is Dr. Ankita from Excel MRCOG, and today I would be discussing cervical circlage based on the recent green top guidelines. So, what is a cervical stitch? A cervical stitch is a is an operation where a stitch is placed around your cervix, that is the neck of the womb, like a purse string, in order to try to keep it closed. It is usually done between 12 and 24 weeks of pregnancy as a planned procedure, although it may be done later in later stages of pregnancy and occasionally before pregnancy. Why is it done? To prevent early delivery in situations that could increase the risk. So what are the risk factors? Remember, these are just the risk factors and they are not clear cut indications to put a cervical stitch. But you need to be careful when there are risk factors. So what are those? You have had a previous miscarriage after 16 weeks of pregnancy. You have had a previous birth before 34 weeks of pregnancy. Your waters broke before 34 weeks in the previous pregnancy. When your waters break prematurely, you have had certain types of treatment to your cervix, like a LEDS procedure or cone biopsy for treatment of an abnormal smear. You have scarring to your endometrium, that is the lining of your womb, or your womb is in an unusual shape. You have had a previous cesarean birth when you have been fully dilated. You have needed a cervical stitch in the previous pregnancy. So these are the high risk factors. In other words, these are the risk factors for preterm birth. So what happens if there are risk factors? So if you have risk factors for preterm birth, your healthcare team may arrange for you to have a transvaginal ultrasound scans to measure your cervix. If it is found to be short, that is less than 25 millimeters, you may be offered a cervical stitch hormonal treatment or just close monitoring by the healthcare team. So who should be offered a circlage? There may be history indicated cervical circlage or ultrasound indicated cervical circlage. History indicated cervical circlage is offered to those women with singleton pregnancy. That is the current pregnancy is a singleton pregnancy. Multiple pregnancies circlage is not indicated whether it is ultrasound indicated or history indicated. So if it's a singleton pregnancy with history of three or more previous preterm birth, that would be an indication for history indicated cervical surplus. Ultrasound indicated on the other hand would be offered to women with a history of one or more previous second trimester miscarriage or preterm birth. One or more. Such women are offered ultrasound scans at intervals of two to four weeks and if that shows reduction in the cervical length of less than 25 millimeters before 24 weeks, that would be ultrasound indicated cervical circlage. There may be other risk factors, the ones that are not already mentioned in the indications. We have seen that there are various high risk factors. So what is to be done if there are other risk factors? There may be high risk factors like these, previous history of circlage, known uterine anomaly, intrauterine adhesions, history of trachelectomy. In such a case, what we do is we get a review by a preterm prevention specialist by 12 weeks. An ultrasound scan is offered every two to four weeks from 16 to 24 weeks. And if there is a reduction, circlage may be considered. The words used is may be considered. If there are intermediate risk factors like women, including those who have a history of a previous full dilatation cesarean section or history of a LEDS procedure wherein there has been an excision of less more than one centimeter or multiple procedures on the cervix. In such a case, a single transvaginal scan no later than 18 to 20, 22 weeks should be offered as a minimum. So in which cases circlage would not be recommended? For women with a singleton pregnancy and no other risk factors for preterm birth, in case the ultrasound incidentally diagnoses a short cervix, less than 25 millimeters, circlage is not indicated. If 
and ultrasound in uh, ultrasound shows that there is funneling of the internal os but the cervical length is more than 25 millimeters again ultrasound indicated circlage is not indicated as we have already seen history or ultrasound indicated circlage is not indicated in women with multiple pregnancy so what are the investigations that are recommended before a cervical stitch is put first offer an ultrasound for viability whether it is a singleton pregnancy and whether there are absence of lethal or major anomalies in the baby women to be offered aneuploidy screening as well maternal white blood cell count and crp before an emergency circlage we would be seeing in a short while what an emergency circlage is so before an emergency circlage may be considered otherwise routinely not needed routine genital screening for infections is not recommended antibiotic prophylaxis may be offered at the discretion of the operating surgeon what are the contraindications to circlage when should you not offer circlage if you have contractions if you have infection if there is continuous bleeding if your borders break if the baby is in severe distress if the baby has abnormalities if the baby is dead so what are the risks of surgery the risks include there may be bleeding injury to the bladder injury to the cervix your waters may break early if you do go in labor while there is a stitch in situ then there may be injuries to the cervix a vaginal cervical stitch does not increase your chance for of needing an induction of labor or a cesarean section so how is a stitch put in how are you going to explain to your role player insertion of a cervical stitch takes place in an operating theater you may require a spinal anesthetic or a general anesthetic in case you get a spinal anesthetic you will be awake but you would be numb from the waist down in case of a general anesthetic you would be asleep in the operating theater your legs would be put up in supports and sterile covers will be used to keep the operating area clean the surgeon would then introduce a speculum into your vagina and put a stitch around the cervix which would be tightened so as to close the cervix the operation would take less than an hour you may also have a catheter or a tube in your bladder which may have to be removed once the anesthetic has worn off so what should i expect afterwards after the stitch is put if the role player asks you what are you going to say after the operation you may experience vaginal bleeding or brownish discharge for a day or two you shouldn't be feeling any discomfort because of the stitch once you recover from the operation you can carry on as normal for the rest of your pregnancy and a care plan would be in place for you as well as your baby having a stitch in place will not affect the way the baby grows resting in bed is not routinely recommended you can have sex when you feel comfortable to do so but sometimes your partner may feel the stitch progesterone routinely is not recommended after a cervical circlage so what is the role of a post circlage serial sonographic surveillance of cervical length whether you would offer serial ultrasound after a cervical stitch is already put it may be useful in ultrasound indicated circlage for you to decide the administration of steroids or in utero transfer in history indicated circlage ultrasound surveillance post circlage is not recommended and it may increase the risk of preterm labor in history indicated or ultrasound indicated circlage the decision for rescue circlage that means despite there being a circlage already there is cervical dilatation whether you would consider a rescue circlage in addition to the circlage that is already put it should be done on an individual basis watch out for contractions or cramping any bleeding water is breaking smelly or green vaginal discharge 
when will the stitch be taken out? The stitch will be taken out at the hospital. Usually done at around 36 to 37 weeks, unless you go in labor early. In that case, it would be removed earlier. If you are having a planned cesarean section, the stitch can be taken out at the time of operation. Will I need a stitch in my next pregnancy if you have a stitch right now? If you have had a stitch previously, you may be offered a stitch again in the future pregnancy. You should be referred to a clinic early, a specialist clinic for prevention of preterm birth to discuss the plan for you. What is an abdominal stitch? An abdominal stitch involves an operation to put a stitch around the cervix through the abdomen, it is called transabdominal. It is not very common and it may be recommended if your cervical stitch vaginally put has not worked or it is not possible to put a stitch because of some problems on the, on the cervix. It is done ideally before you become pregnant or occasionally in early pregnancy. It may be done through a cut on your abdomen or a keyhole surgery. This sort of stitch is not removed and your baby would be born by a cesarean section. What is an emergency? Surplage. Occasionally, you may be offered a cervical stitch as an emergency procedure after your cervix has already started to open to help prevent you from having a late miscarriage or early preterm birth. This is called an emergency stitch and your healthcare team will discuss the risks and benefits of this with you. This type of stitch has higher risks and is less likely to work than other stitches. So should a surplage be removed in case of PPROM? In case the lady is between 24 and 34 weeks and you need to consider in utero transfer, that would be the only indication or that may be the one reason for you to consider delayed removal of the stitch otherwise it is better to remove the stitch because of the risk of maternal or fetal infection if the woman is less than 23 weeks and more than 34 weeks in such a case because the risk of infection would outweigh the risk of continuing the stitch it is always better to have the stitch removed in order and just to sum up uh, if the woman is between 24 and 34 weeks and you want to consider in utero transfer, that would be the only situation where you may have to consider delayed removal of the stitch. In all other situations, you would need to, you would consider removal of the stitch. So, I hope this session helps you with your preparations. You don't have to go through the entire Green Top guidelines. The important points are already discussed here. Thank you and happy studying.